Come with me on a girls trip. What you can expect from this vlog is lots of girls, 16 to be exact, good vibes, no men. Just like honestly a great time. I will say a couple things went wrong, which you will have to watch and see what happened. But for the most part, the, the vibes are just immaculate and I want to bring you along. in less than three hours and clearly I have nothing packed. Are we surprised? Not really. I tend to do this to myself sometimes, but it's fine. We're just not gonna sleep tonight. I also ordered myself some Amazon packages because I was like, you know what? I have not been on a beach vacation in a minute. I think I need some new things. The first thing I got for myself was a pink little beach bag, but it's not just any beach bag. Look at this, look at this. It's reversible. Next, I ordered some jewelry. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm putting it on right now. It's just like a little bee. It's just like a cute dainty ring with a bee on it. Now, if this is what I think it is, it's kind of a dumb purchase. I'm gonna be so honest with you. Okay, it's either the best purchase or the worst purchase. I'm not really sure which one. I got underwater cameras. I will say to get one day shipping, I ended up spending $70 on both of these, so I better get some fire photos. I looked at the reviews, the, the photos were a little questionable sometimes, and then I realized later I could have just gotten the little pouch that you put your iPhone in, and then you can put that underwater, but it's fine. I want the experience of using this, and I feel like I'm going to be really popular on this trip. Everyone's going to be asking for photos on my camera, I know it. Next, we have a couple things in here, but first of all, why is this so small? Okay, I ordered some sea salt spray because I just love when I'm on vacation, you know, embracing the beachy waves. I've never used this kind, but the reviews were good, and I don't need a lot. You know, maybe this is the perfect amount for me. We will see. I'll let, I'll let you know about the sea salt spray. Next, we have these little clips that I'm obsessed with. Look how cute they are, and there's all different colors to match my outfits. They're just, they scream vacation, and they're just as pretty in person. I also got another jewelry piece. I got these big chunky gold earrings, which I know are a dupe for some kind of luxury jewelry company thing. I don't know. I don't want to hurt my own feelings by like looking up the actual price of the actual product and like being like, oh. Hi. <laughs> I was gonna say that it's future Brianna here, but then I started thinking about it. I was like, wait, but for me, it's the current moment. But when you're watching this, it's the past. So I don't know how to word this, but I'm here. This is Brianna back from the vacation, going to narrate it for you, give you a little extra missing context. And while I do that, I am going to unpack. If I'm being so honest with you guys, this trip was off to a rocky start. When we landed at the airport, it was absolutely pouring rain and the forecast was looking really depressing. <laughs> I was also just super tired and hungry. And when we got to the resort, none of the restaurants were open. So Spencer and I decided we we're gonna try and call for room service, but our phone didn't work. And then it would not stop beeping like this. <laughs> like we actually could not get our phone to stop and we were just so tired and like angry and like it was hot and rainy and the vibes were just, the vibes were not vibing. So Spencer and I decided that we were not going to count the first night that we got there. Like that just wasn't even part of the vacation in our mind. And the vacation was going to start the next morning. The next day we had a great morning. We realized that we truly were just like tired and hangry because as soon as we got room service in the morning, we were loving life again. Like suddenly I was the happiest girl on earth. It's very crazy what like a lack of sleep and food can do to your mentality. We also found a Starbucks, which we had every single morning. They did not have my go-to drink, which is a brown sugar ice shake and espresso. So I ended up experimenting with a few other drinks throughout the week, which was honestly a fun change. And the thing that ended up really turning the trip around was just the change in weather. Suddenly the rain stopped and we never really saw the rain again. It was 
so sunny and so nice, which none of us predicted. It's like a little bit cloudy, so I didn't know if I was gonna get any kind of you know, tan or burn and I got a little bit and I'm really excited about it. I will say I am now peeling a little bit on my shoulders and on my booty, but worth it. I will take that over no color because I just don't, I don't tan that well. I don't know if you guys can tell. You definitely can. I'm a pale girl. So I was just happy to get color. Oh my God, this poor box. While I was on vacation, I kept getting so many questions about my makeup, specifically my fake freckles that I was doing. So I ended up filming a mini makeup tutorial for you guys while I was over there. I'm someone who likes wearing makeup on vacation. Sue me. It's what I like. I already have sunscreen on my face, which is obviously so important. And then I'm just putting some primer because it helps just make it stick and last all day. I also always bring two different foundations when I'm on vacation because your skin tone is just changing so much because of the sun. You're getting burnt, you're getting tan. I do like a little over half of the amount of foundation I would normally do. So, you know, we're keeping it a little natural. Then going in with the smallest amount of concealer where I feel like I need it. And I also have like a very, very light concealer because I just feel like, I don't know, it makes me look glowy. Now that we have our base done, we are just going in with some blush. And I'm kind of going for an orangey, coppery blush because I feel like this gives you both the blush look but also a little bit of a bronzy look. I'm literally just going all the way across like this. To keep things glowy, we are adding some highlight. I think brows are so important when you're on vacation. Like, it would be so easy to just leave them, but I kind of think adding a little extra brow makeup looks really, really good with vacation makeup. I'm not gonna lie, the brows went on a little questionable today. We're just, we're gonna make the best of it. This, I swear by. It's just like this little red lip gloss. Look how cute that looks! I swear that just elevated the look right there. For me, the most important part of vacation makeup though is the freckles. I'm so sad that I don't have natural freckles anymore. I swear I used to when I was younger and I hated them. And now that I'm older and I actually want freckles, I don't have them, so I have to draw them on. I'm literally doubling up like this. Then we blend it out because that's obviously way too harsh to look natural. I also love using this to like sculpt my nose a little bit. It's kind of like a contour, you know? I think the most important part when it comes to freckles is just blending, 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 blending because it just looks a little silly if they're harsh. Then I am finishing it off with some really glowy blush. A little bit of highlight in the inner corner. Powder on the T-zone. I try not to go too crazy with the powder because you're gonna sweat. Your face is inevitably going to be shiny. And last but not least, setting spray, obviously. Oh my god, what am I talking about? I fully forgot mascara. We need this. The look obviously is not complete <laughs> without this. And this is the finished vacation makeup. I have a question. Are you guys really neat people on vacations or are you messy? Like I know some people, they like fold everything, put it in the drawers, put it away. I am not that type of girl. Unless I'm there for like a month, I'm living out of my suitcase. That's just how I am. And my suitcase is going to be a mess. It's not going to be organized. So I'm definitely a messy girl. And I feel like Spencer is like somewhere in the middle, but I want to know what you guys are. Look how organized Spencer's side of the room is. <laughs> and then look at mine. Like, guys. Overall though, I feel like Spencer is matching my messy energy, which I'm very thankful for or else I would be embarrassed. Also, just wanna say, I feel like when you travel with someone, it's so make or break for your friendship. Like you either get a hundred times closer or you kind of end up hating each other. And for me and Spencer, it was definitely that we got so much closer. We traveled so well together, which was honestly a highlight for me is just like getting to know her more and spending time. Like I feel like we really, really bonded. Having a good roommate and a good like person to like hang out with on a trip just makes it so much better. What you do on vacation is fun, but also the people that you're doing it with is just so important. And honestly, all the girls were amazing. I feel like I made so many friends on this trip, which was just so nice. And I feel like that's another reason why I didn't vlog as much. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, the footage is a little bit all over the place. But I was just meeting so many new girls and like making friends and everyone was so nice. Like I genuinely 
liked every single person that was on this trip, which I didn't, I don't know. I don't know what I expected. Not that I expected to like hate everyone, but I didn't expect to bond and like connect with everyone the way that I did. I can't decide what bikini I want to wear today. So I'm just going to try all of these on and show you guys. And hopefully you guys agree with whatever one I decide to wear. I'm going to start with the pink one because you guys know I love pink. Okay, this is the pink one on. I really love this one. I actually wore it yesterday. So I'm like, I don't know if I should wear it again, but like, it's just so me and I love it. We have the same one in brown. I just put the top on a little bit differently. I have a matching skirt for this one too. So this is definitely an option. Take it in, take it in. Also, my butt is so burnt right now. Look at that. Very, very burnt. We also have the white one, which I know I'm not very tan, but this one makes me feel a little bit tan. So I'm like, okay, maybe this one, but I don't know. Okay, I think this is the winner for today. Let me know what you guys think if I made the right choice. I just think I look really good in blue and I love the little V here. I feel like it's really flattering. It has a good amount of coverage. This is personally the one that I feel like just suits my body the best, I guess. I love all of them, but this, this might have to be the winner. Anyways, we also did the one thing that I truly, oh, <laughs> I ended up doing the one thing, the only thing that I really, really, truly wanted to do on this trip. Guys, we're on a boat. All I want to do this whole trip is be on a boat, and I'm finally on a boat. I'm on Listen, as a girl, I just think it's my job to be on a boat. Like, I just think I was made to be on a boat. We spent the entire day on this island, and it was definitely a very bonding day for all the girls, especially if there was a group of us that went on these banana boats. I have photos on my little disposable Fujifilm camera because we couldn't bring our phones or anything, so I just brought that little waterproof camera and attached it to my wrist with an elastic. I need to get those photos back because we're actually dying on the back of this banana boat. Do you know what is a problem I did not expect to have on this trip? Hornets going in my drinks. I don't know why this kept happening, but every single day, it didn't matter what I was drinking, at least one hornet would go in one of my drinks. Luckily, we were staying at an all-inclusive, so I could just go get another drink, but I was like, why does this keep happening? Like, it was an abnormal amount. I was really confused. Most of the days, me and Spencer would just order room service to our room, but for the last two days, we did end up going to this little buffet, so I brought you guys along for that. Good morning from Mexico. I'm currently in my very best hotel room that I'm sharing with Spencer and we are about to get breakfast we've kind of been ordering room service but then yesterday we discovered this little buffet bar and we want to go back there because it was really good they had these donuts with Nutella chef's kiss I need that again but yeah I'm gonna take you guys along on my morning today I influenced Spencer. I put Nutella on my donut and then she put Nutella on her donut. It sounds like the TikTok is like, I got married in Italy and she got married in Italy. <laughs> I feel like I actually have a very balanced meal for breakfast this morning. Even in Mexico, we have to start our day with Starbucks. Me and Spencer are realizing we have really similar tastes. We order the same thing everywhere. Literally, in everything. <laughs> Today we said ice caramel macchiatos. On the very last night, we ended up having one of the most stunning dinners I've ever had in my entire life. Like, it was magical. I felt like I was on The Bachelor or something. It just felt bougie. It was beautiful. It was just like definitely a highlight of the trip for me. Guys, look where we're having dinner tonight. It is literally the prettiest thing ever. The beach and the sunset is right there. I'm so happy. We're just drinking water now, but I think drinks are coming. I was actually supposed to be in the video. This is my pear salad. This is my tortilla soup. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Here's an ice cream. Good soup. This was also the last night, so it was just so emotional for everyone because we were so bonded by the end of these 
five days, six days. I don't even remember how long this trip was. But I just felt like I made so many really good friends and everyone lived in different parts of the world. So it was really sad. I was going to miss them. And it was just like saying goodbye to everyone. It was like, <laughs> genuinely, I give the vibes on this trip minus the first day. A 10 out of 10. Easily. Easily. And yeah, if you guys want to see more content from the vacation, I have a bunch of photos up on Instagram. I have some TikToks, you know. Just go check everything out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!